In a quiet English village, a child was deliberately exposed to disease, and no one knew if it would save him or kill him. The year was 1796, and fear ruled Europe. Smallpox moved like a curse through cities and countryside alike, leaving death, scars, and blindness in its wake. Bells tolled often, graves filled quickly. And for parents, every fever felt like a ticking clock. In the village of Berkeley, England, the danger felt especially close, because no one was safe from it. Edward Jenner was a country doctor, not a celebrated scientist. He listened more than he spoke, and for years he had noticed something strange whispered among milkmaids. They feared many things, but not smallpox. Their hands bore marks from cowpox, a mild disease caught from cattle. Yet their faces were untouched by the scars that haunted everyone else. Was it, was it coincidence or protection? That question refused to let Jenner sleep. One spring day, he made a decision that would either change medicine forever or ruin his life. He took material from a cowpox sore on a milkmaid's hand and introduced it into the arm of an eight-year-old boy, James Phipps. The room was still, the moment irreversible. No one had tried this before, no textbooks, no safety net. Days passed. The boy fell mildly ill, then recovered. But Jenner wasn't finished. Weeks later, he did the unthinkable. He exposed the child to smallpox itself, the disease that had claimed millions. Neighbors waited in dread. If the boy died, Jenner would be condemned. If he lived, everything would change. James did not fall ill, not a fever, not a rash, not a single sign of smallpox. In that silence, history shifted. Jenner had proven something radical. The human body could be trained, prepared, defended in advance. He called his method vaccination, from vaca, the Latin word for cow, an unassuming name for an idea powerful enough to rewrite humanity's future. At first, the world resisted. Doctors mocked him. Clergy called it unnatural. Some feared people would grow horns, but evidence spread faster than fear. Vaccination crossed borders. Smallpox deaths plummeted. And for the first time in history, humans weren't just reacting to disease, they were preventing it. Nearly two centuries later, smallpox would become the first human disease ever eradicated. And it all began with a quiet observation, a brave child, and a single question that refused to be ignored. If this story moved you, please like, share, and subscribe, and tell us in the comments what other moments in history you'd like to explore next.